Zarkon, Eshiot, and Hawatli, I believe. We're going to be trying this Gruul deck that our friend slash sponsor Sean Court gave us. Uh, played no games of the format. He liked the deck. Yeah, we'll give it a go. See how it goes. So if this goes badly, direct all your vitriol, I think that's our word, and hate at him, because I'll be certainly harassing him on Facebook the entire stream. Uh, we have magic cards in our hand. I don't know what some of them do. We'll read them whenever we can cast them. The best way to play magic, right? Just having no idea what your cards do. Yeah, whatever, I'll read it now. What in the world are you? Oh, neat. You're a prey upon, kind of. Wait, you don't even fight. It's even better. Yeah, we sure seem to have a whole lot of non-creature spells for these bad boys. Sirtuitous Wrath. Is that how you spell it or pronounce it? I don't know. Um. Okay. I think I want to kill this. But if I do, I can play none of the things. That's awkward. I guess does allow me to get another friendo off of the growth chamber and then play a thing. So we're still adding to the board and trying to hurt the mana. I think I'll lead with the smash. Huh. Guess I need to play something. Oh boy. A thrill to Mystic. What a time to be alive. Why didn't they counterspell this? Oh. Neato. Neato Burrito. Put this down and this down and get our two in. Because next turn, if we draw land, we can play multiple ace threats. Actual fight. Yep, it's an actual fight. So, opponent doesn't have double blue. I'm not sure what they do to stop our Legion friend from. Pump up the volume, pump up the jam with this. I'm gonna play this, 
give it a little haste arena. Uh, play this. Give it a little haste arena. And then we're going to karate chop our opponent. Right in the jugular. Oh yeah. That's one out of ten. Probably won't get dial ten today, but that is one. Where are dailies? Kill opponents, creatures. Cast blue and white, blue and white. Well, hopefully we'll kill our opponents creature. Whoa, wait, wait, no, not ranked. That's not right at all. Playing this. Dodo, what is up? Yeah, it's a pretty sweet deck. I can try to uh, post the list for you. One second. Let's see if I can find an easy way to download it. Um, now, this deck's pretty good in normal standard as well. Stream Decker. Seeing if I can find a place for it. So this is the one that just has first strike and mentor, right? Yeah, we'll just go ahead and play a three three then. Uh, Dex, how do I paste from paste decker? Maybe this will work. Don't know if this will work. Hey, it did work. Wonderful. That was a lot easier than I expected. It's the first time I've ever pasted a deck list from uh, Arena before. The challenge of this format is you can only play War of the Sparks, Guild of Ravnica, or Guild of Allegiance, and the other format, or the other set. The two guilds. War, Guild, Guild of Allegiance and Guild of Ravnica, maybe? I'm not actually sure what they're called. I should probably know what they're called, but I don't. But it's actually a really decent deck in standard, too. Ooh, that card's pretty, pretty spicy. All right, opponent doesn't want to keep playing versus our big walls, though. So what is it? It is, uh, yeah, Guilds of Ravnica, uh, Ravnica Allegiance, and War of the Sparks, but and Gates of Blaze is banned, so you can't just play the full Gates deck. But for people who like it in standard, like there's, I don't know if I have a build. But like it's pretty decent in standard too. You get that. Whoops, that's the wrong key. Wait, where the hell's the right key then? Oh, it's up here. You get to add like the shocks and the lava coils and stuff, so you have. Uh, a different suite. Most of them have moved away from Sarkin now, or sorry, uh, the Hellcat now and have Sarkin. This is kind of an outdated build, but yeah. There's quite a few of them at the Mythic. Oh, no, I, I keep clicking ranked on accident. <laughs> so, so used to only playing ranked. So you can play Gate 2 Cares, but you cannot play your baby Gates of Blaze. It is banned in this format. I know you're a big proponent of loving Gates. Not a reasonable hand. Ooh, opponents actually got some cool looking sleeves. I like those. I like that a lot. I really do like that. The, the third growth chamber, always fun to draw. Ooh, red deck wins.
You can still play them, you just can't play your best sweeper. I'm pretty happily trade here. This thing can go crazy, especially with Experimental Frenzy. And we already have another one of these. Our kill conditions really nissa anyway. Like I don't even care if they use a removal spell on this. Like this is kind of our kill condition at this point. Yeah. We're casting a nissa into a, a blank board from a red deck generally means you're just gonna lose. So this unlocks Hawali. And the Cardarino. And now we've got to win, what, four more to unlock the Ashiok? 3 0 so far. I think Boros Feather's pretty good in this format as well, probably. Like, all you really lose is a Danto. And you can replace a Danto with, like, Tomik or something. Tomik might even be better because it kind of turns off Nissa. But, like, you still have, you know, the Alchemist, you still have. Feather itself, uh, whatever, I'll keep it because we have two removal spells. You still have Aurelia, you still have Defiant Strike, you still have Gurn to battle. So, you still have a lot of awesome tools. Charmed Stray. I'll just start with the 3-3. Three, three. Kitty says meow. Well. Probably don't want to attack just yet. Gideon's actually going to be a bit of an issue. I'm going to attack it with everything. There's a good chance that they don't double block. I think I'm fine with that. Or, I said double block, but obviously meant triple block. I think I would trade this for two halves of a card and one full card. That's even more ideal if they just block a lot. That's fine. Need to do some damage. Apparently I'm lagging. Because the token things went onto the stack super slow. What are you? You're tough to Concerned about a top taker. I'm 
We already have a lava coil. They have a Danto, we get to kill Gideon, which is nice. Uh, Alright, so go ahead and use you. Hulk you. Play you. And I'll either kill both his creatures or his Gideon. His or I keep saying his, but it is their decision. There. Shouldn't say him. That is bad of me. Yeah, people just don't like to play versus the giant walls. Poor Odino. Gotta win six more. Be nice to kill six creatures during the six more as well. That way I get one of these dailies done. Because I'm pretty interested in unlocking Sarkin. Sarkin is just a fun card to play with. Ah, another strong hand. But the mass manipulation decks would be good in this format. They'd have to be good, wouldn't they? Not a lot of sweepers, so you'd be able to keep your mana producers in play. Ooh, that's gonna be good. Uh, no Lando. Alright, well, let's just play big monsters from now until the end of time and hope it's enough. My other friend told me they just played Esper, uh, Esper Hero and like removed Teferi and stuff for generic things and was quite pleased with the result. We need to draw an answer for the hero one though, because the hero one blocks our uh, Feroxes so easily. Ooh, that's a good one. It makes it hard to attack with the Spellbreaker. Because trading the Spellbreaker for one Guild Mage and one token just doesn't feel worth. This game uh, is not looking very good for us. We're really far behind already, even though it looks like we're technically ahead. Yep, it is a pretty darn good Murph. Uh, what build are you playing? Are you playing the one that's got some Folias and Flamekins in the sideboard? Uh, what are your main deck flex slots you're using? Saw some people toy around with Stinkweed Imp. Some people toy around with... Oh, that was a beautiful card. Um, that I can't play because I have two of these. So I need to somehow get one of these killed? Unlikely that I'm getting one of those killed anytime soon. Yeah, dark blood. Oh, you're playing green. Oh, you're gonna have to. You're gonna have to hit me with the deck list there, Murph. I don't think I've saw a green one in a while. Yeah, I think it's still just not right to play the spellbreaker.
Casting Legion War Boss, or playing it pre-combat, really didn't do anything in this spot because we knew they were going to have a 2-3 just to rando block it with. So we need to get two more lands before the Domri is impactful. Lovely. Lovely. This also works. <laughs> so we're going to get to kill the hero now. Unless they have like, I don't know, one mana to rest. Okay. Top goes the weasel then. No, we're not attacking with that. So. Kind of want to kill this, so I think I'm just going to attack this with all three. This lets them trade the uh, Guild Mage for the uh, Legion if they want. But getting the Guild Mage off the table lets our Ghoul Spellbreakers start with, or attacking. This also leaves our Domri to where our Domri dies now. If they have any removal for the Spellbreaker. Or if they just don't block at all and attack with the Guild Mage, they don't even have to have a removal. I think the only hate card that I'm worried about though is Rest in Peace and Leyline. So the white feels like that covers that and gives us access to Folia. Folia's pretty good. I assume they might have some time wipe top card now. That's not a time wipe top card. That is that is a hard card to beat. Uh, that's considerably less hard card to beat. Um, so, if I kill this, they can kill none of our things. I need to attack at least seven at that then. Which would mean I need to send... Card for that one. So two, four, plus this. So if they block this, I would be dealing four two. So I need to send one more at it. Wait. Yeah, I need to send at least six of it. That's right. Isn't because if they block this, now we're dealing four, five, six, seven, eight, and then one of them. They get to draw an extra card here. Claim's pretty good too, though. I can totally see that. But the the Wismare's good because the Wismare, um and give you extra bridge triggers and extra uh, Alder of Dementia triggers like while you're killing a hate card. Like, I've been really impressed with the Evolve on it. This does not seem like it's going to be good enough. Opponent is going to need something. These sparks good enough. They can kill the Ferox now. They're attacking for two. And Kai's Wrath. Okay, fair enough. Our opponent's in good shape here.
That hurts. So we already have an answer for the Ferox. Hopefully they don't also get an answer for this. They did not. That is nice. Oh, I thought that was Elder Spell. The fact that that's Commander Dreadhorn probably just wins the game. Typically just bring it all in for board two, game two. Like, uh, I bring, unless it's a particular deck, like you can pinpoint some decks out, you know White Weenie's not playing, or you know, like, Blue White's not playing Cage. You know, uh, decks that use the graveyard aren't using Cage, blah, blah, blah. I usually just bring it all in then. Alright, so we're dead this game. Down to, what is that, three and one or four and one? I think it's four and one. So we have, yeah, we have four wins. It's four and one. Definitely keep. Based on what deck we're playing versus, or what land we see, we'll make the decision whether we grow or not. Being able to cast Venge Vines seems relevant. Honado must be having a tough mulligan decision. There's something under my mouth. Alright, so rando green deck, so we're just going to play our creatures. They killed, it's not that big of a deal. We still get to curve into these two spells. JK. That's kind of cool. Can't argue with things like that. That is kind of cool. A boom, fat daddy on the table. Fat daddy doing fat daddy happiness thing. Sarkin would suck here, because the Sarkin kills all of our goblin friends. Sarkin would actually be kind of difficult, to, especially off of a mountain, if they get to keep the Paradise Druid back as a defender. I 
Pretty sure claims are better versus Infect, too. I don't care a lot about that card. Feels like we'll be able to take care of that one with something. Assuming we're going to fight our Legion. Oh, wow, we get to fight two things? That's a bit of a dagger. Didn't want them to fight two things. One still has two cards in hand, and we're just barely ahead on board, so this is an issue. I'll pretty much just ignore it. I have a couple of grave crawler, or not a couple of grave crawlers, a couple of uh, graft diggers cages, but that's about it. Ugh, us drawing double the amount of lands of our opponents, uh, not getting it done. They still have two to three spells in hand, by or none. I think I'm third enough behind that maybe I'm supposed to block if they attack with the Pharaohs. That's bad for us. Our kingdom or our own Domri. They get to eat the gruel spellbreaker now for free. And then I'm um, super bad shape. We're going to block here. hurts. Uh, we, need a good, we need a good draw. Kind of a good draw, I guess. Guess I would trade this for these two or that one. Either one I think I'm okay with. Can't play that one because they can just eat it for the cost of the Domri, but maybe letting them eat it for the cost of the Domri would be fine. Yeah, 
Killing the lead for the cost of the Dom Ring was probably right. Starting to explode onto the board a little bit here. If they dodge, if they brick one more turn, we've got a good chance. That was about perfect. So they bricked again. We were so far behind, but then they just rattled off irrelevant spells over multiple turns. I don't think they have an out coming for here. I feel like we got pretty fortunate that game. Uh, there was a time during that game where I wanted to just concede, but then they just didn't play another relevant spell the rest of the match. They're out 5-1 and one so far. Yeah, you could be right, Murph, for sure. I haven't saw it. Really? You think, uh... It'd be more popular or something? But, uh... Uh... Yeah, I'll keep it. This is the Gideon Sacrifice event. You can only play from guilds forward. And Gates of Blaze is banned. I was hoping we'd hit a green in two draw steps, but if we had a land in three, I thought we'd still be okay. Oh, we hit a land in three. Hygienic Uzarino. This card's a bit of a problem. So you put a plus one, plus one on, and then deal damage based on power. So... We can kill you if we want. And kill you. Is that good enough? I think it's good enough. I'd happily trade the war boss for both of his things. Especially if our hand dumping down to three cards. So they probably have Thrilled Mystic now. So we gotta think about how do we best beat a Thrilled Mystic. Eh, I'm just gonna let them counterspell this. We have a second. Oh wow, they didn't have anything? Gotta be honest, I expected them to have something. They don't have anything, we're just... 
put them to the board and turn them sideways. Should have probably done that during their main phase. Alright, six and one. Four more wins. Could take forever. Could just be four games. Who knows? Uh, you get a Sarkin for this time, Murph. A Sarkin, an Ashiok, and a Watley. Um, also, if you type this code into your promo thing, enlighten me, you get a stained glass Narset skin. And you know me. I'm a sucker for alternate art things. So... I have to always unlock this stuff. Pretty strong but slow hand. I think something will be banned in August. I agree. I do not think something will be banned before the Pro Tour. I believe they're going to let the London Mulligan rule see if it fixes the format where people can get to their hate cards. I know a lot of people think there's going to be bans when Elm 20 comes out. I'm not in that camp. I believe there should be. I believe that Neoform should not make it into this format whatsoever, and I believe uh, Hogat should not make it to the Pro Tour. Like, I'm on record saying both of those things. But I don't think we'll see it. Interesting. So, how do I want to best try to kill this Gideon? If I play the Domri and fight, then I'm attacking for five, and that's not enough. I could play the Domri, tick it up, use the ambush for six attack. That's not good enough. So I guess that means I'm just using the ambush. And then saying they have to jump block and lose half of their card, or they have to lose their whole card. I don't know which they'll choose. Really based on their hand. If they have a way to kill the Spellbreaker, they'll probably save the Gideon. If they don't have a way to, kill the, or to deal with the Spellbreaker, they probably will not save the Gideon. Yeah, I ordered the uh, alders for like a buck twenty or something like that, a buck fifty. I don't exactly remember. I ordered the uh, hogats for under three, but I kind of forgot that I didn't own blood gas and venge vines. So, whoops, <laughs> whoopsie, made that made that mistake. Uh, yeah, I think this gives me the best options for the following turn. Also gives me a blocker. There's a tournament for an underground sea next week that I would love to have Hogat for, but... Ooh, that's kind of interesting. Yeah, that's, that's definitely pretty nice. So do I care about this card? I would have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 mana. I don't think I care about this. I think I would rather have my Nyssa. Alright, so we're going to tap you first, and we're going to tap you for red. Then we're going to use you, and then we're going to untap you. We're going to start here. 
then we're going to play you. Then we're going to play you. We're going to tick you up for red. Probably should have fought here. play you, something I can block with that I don't care about, if need be, and we're going to try to save our creatures, oh I punted right, I forgot, the, I forgot his stupid thing had vigilance, in my mind his thing was tapped, uh, that's just really bad. That was a horrible player. Just horrible. It's the type of player that can cost you a game. I'll tell you one even better than that. I'm just silly. Horrible, horrible, horrible player. Ooh, I'm so embarrassed. Yeah, I'm going to lose this game. I had a real chance to win it, but. Guess I'm going to make you giant. Did I have to fight that just to get it off the table for a turn, I believe? Need to be the best deck in the format by a lot, Murph. My humble, irrelevant opinion has been said. I got two things that can attack for the Sun Home right now. I am so embarrassed that I killed my own land. Prison Realm. That's fine. My Planeswalkers don't seem relevant anymore. Don't get me wrong, I would love to have my Nissa still. But this gets the real catch up back next turn, which is the bigger problem. They kind of have to attack the Domery, because if they don't attack the Domery, I get to kill their son home now. So we'll go ahead and play this and just attack with everything. The riot. I don't think it dies. Like, Force of Negation and stuff's going to be very good versus Hogat. Or, very good versus Neoform. Misspoke. I really want them to attack me for three, so they're going to go to 13 now, and there's a chance that we win if we draw a land. So how's this math work out? They can block two things. Say they block the biggest two. They would be taking one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, and nothing of mine dies. Wait. No, that's, that math's just not right, but still have to haste here and just swing it all. And I guess I make this bigger. No, I probably spread the damage out. 
No, I should put. I need to put it here. That way, I can get another guardian. So if they block the biggest, they still take ten. They block those two. They're dead. They can't make this block. Okay. Well, never mind. Opponent didn't want to do the math and killed themselves. But we didn't deserve that one. But what is that? Seven and one. We made a horrible play mistake that game. We were in an okay shape. Like if the top of their deck was a brick, like we still win that game. But they definitely had draws that could have potentially put them in a good spot. Like, if they just had another creature, then they get a 4-4, and I'm in seriously uh, bad trouble. Oh, yeah, I'll keep this on the play. Not yet, Mer er, not yet, uh, Sean, but uh, keep in mind, I could just lose 10 in a row here, so. We're off to a good start. Off to a good start. I had quite a lot of opponents playing little white things that just didn't want to play anymore very quickly. If I had a red mana, I probably wouldn't play this. Because I assume once I see the Godless Shrine that their deck's going to be full of removal. Alright, well. Hero precinct ones absolutely amazing versus us little to fairies absolutely amazing versus us since we don't have mana so we're not in very good shape right now not in very good shape at all right now that is not a red land so karate chop Still just going to play this. I'm going to want my mana for other things, assuming we hit a red mana, so. Oh no. Oh no, friendo. Not a second hero. We couldn't beat the first hero. I certainly can't beat a second one. Oh wait, you're going to let me block one? I'm in, I'm in for blocking. I'm, I'm totally I'm totally down for OPP when it comes for a block. Uh, don't want to attack because trading my growth chamber for for basically two tokens and him getting an afterlife token doesn't feel good. But yeah, no idea what that card does, so I assume it's just going to kill something or me. All right. Mono Green Growth Chamber did not win. Seven to two. Three more wins until we can start playing Path of Exile, and I can eat my Kit Kat. I have a victory Kit Kat right in front of me. It's a king size too, because I'm a king size man. May or may not have taken a picture of it. I don't have any way to post pictures anymore. My imager account's not been working. Please, can I post pictures again? Every time I go to imager now, I get this. Anytime I go to try to post a picture. Have for months. I don't know the. I don't know what I'm doing wrong. I'll probably figure it out through Facebook somehow. Uh, three three arena. If I post it to Facebook, I can just link it, right? Oh wow, that is such a long link. Yes, I'm, I'm busy trying to get a picture of a Kit Kat and kind of ignoring my opponent. 
So I can't kill that, but I can attack. So, hiya. Tiny URL. Maybe you'll work. Hey, I think this is going to work. Okay, opponent doesn't want to play. I'm not really sure why. Looks like they were off to a good start. Maybe they can see her. I have, I have no idea. Eight and two. Two more wins until we get to devour our victory Kit Kat. That my lovely and wonderful mother brought me. My mother is... Saint Mommy. She is our favorite. She is on a date tonight, and the guy who is taking her out is going to make her homemade creme brulee. One of my favorite words to say, too. Creme brulee. Please don't kill this. I have all the fight mechanics that were ever fight mechanics in my hand. I really need my creature just to be on the table. Don't you do it. Don't you play a conclave or a prison realm. They did it. Wah, 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 wah. Pretty sure I'm still just going to play my Domri next turn. Oh boy. Alright, our kingdom for a creature. And by creature, I mean, I want growth chamber, guardian. Because I want a lot of creatures. That'll work. That'll do. Technically, I should have one mana open if I was sequencing properly, but... <laughs> the whole deck and everything in it. That's our fave. That's a Tithe Taker. Um, well, I want to kill both of my opponent's things, so... Guess I'm going to start by yummying down on this. Two mana or greater. And I can't attack right now because they can just block with the 1-1. One, one. We've got uh, pretty far behind this game. I thought we were doing great. We're not doing great. Oh no. We're... We're not doing great at all. Right, well, we have biggest creature now. Maybe they'll block. Lovely. Hey, yeah. Biggest creature. That's a nice one. I'm gonna attack our Domarino, of course. That's not where we want to be. Believe, I believe we're going down this game. Seventh land's a little too many. 
go ahead and put my Kit Kat back down on the desk. Stop playing with it. Poor Domri, he shall be missed. You are our favorite, Domri. Sad Panda is sad. They still have three cards in hand. Oh no. That's what we call a good card. Oh, that's great. Please. Please and thank you. They've got one trigger out of probably conceded, so I'm just pretty excited that they didn't. Oh no! Oh no, it's back. It's back in an all new attack. All right, we gotta get, we gotta draw a pretty powerful card, or we are certainly picking our hand up. Well, stomping ground's a good one. I think this is seven and three now, eight and three. I think we've lost three. I'm gonna say eight and three. If that's not accurate, then I'm a liar. And I don't care. The descent starting, Sean. We're going to lose like 12 in a row. And I'm going to despise you. No, I can never despise you. Oh, we're not going to lose 7 in a row either because this hand's lit. We've already won. Our opponent can just pack them up. Next game, opponent. I gotta give you your promo elves back, but you won't tell me if I have any more of your foils. And I honestly can't remember. My mind's not worked right in the past year. I'm sure I probably have more of your things. More of your stuffs. Opponent, I dare you to take the Nullhide Ferox. You want to take the Nullhide Ferox. It calls you. No had Ferox. No had that's not the no had Ferox. Come on, opponent. Why are you over there trying? Um, I think post board they are because they have a quick enough clock and they can disrupt you. I think pre board they're probably not Murph. I think you're just faster than them pre-board on average. But yeah, I kind of agree. I think uh, Affinity and Scales are pretty good versus Hog. Um, well, I don't really want to add something else to the board. I wouldn't have minded to add this to the board because it can't be ritualed away, but um, I want to leave. I want to be able to get this in play, and we are fathoms away mana wise from being able to do uh, the one first into that. Alright, so we don't have to worry about this, we just win. And just winning is always the funnest. We have three, three power attackers. Well, two of them are technically four, but three is all of the relevant text on that. Alright, now they three. Hang on, I'll be back. Oh, cool, we hit a rare. Better be back quick, because we're one win away from eating a Kit Kat and being done with the stream for today. Whew! Big money. But who knows? It could take two hours to get this last win. Hours would be a long time. That sounds fun. It's slow, but it's fun. I like to stream too, but I'm addicted to Path of Exile. 
I've not played any today. And I have a Kit Kat behind me. A Kit Kat, man. Kit Kat. Ooh, Paul is playing something different. Uh-oh. That's a good one. Please don't kill my 3-3. Three -three. I would love to block. Don't you do it, opponent. I really like this magic card. Oh no, they keep hovering the goblin. Don't you do it. Leave it alone. They didn't leave it alone. Oh, that makes things a lot harder. Ooh. Alright, we get to play a 6-6 six -six next. 6-6 six, six blocks uh, Dreadhorde Butcher's Rat. Six six. Let's go. What are you gonna do when the six six runs wild on your four four? Oh, it's really short on lands. All right. Apparently. That's what opponent does when the 6-6 six, six comes to the 4-4 four, four party. Alright, well we went 10-3, and three, and now we have a Sarkin. Thought we had a pact open, but apparently I am just wrong. Wait, no. No. Alright, we'll play ranked until I'm mythic or until I lose a match since Murph told me to hold on. So, aka, I'm either playing one or two matches. <laughs> Who knows which. One or two matches. We will play first. We are a land world deck. We do not. This hand's not remotely playable. Uh, this hand's better than the other hand. Certainly keep our land. This hand's very bad, by the way. It's just better than the other hand. Land, please? It's not a land. It just goes to the graveyard. I don't even have to read it if it's not a land. There's a hero. That's what we refer to as a problem card. And that's what we refer to as a problem answer. Land stays on top. I have no card in my hand I want, so this is wonderful. I take that back. I really, really want our Nissa. <laughs> Opponent's not allowed to know that I want that Nissa, but I want it. 
I want it. Now we play this little thing for two. Get our one card refund. If they have a raft or something like that, we can finality and get it and the Merfolk back. Or we can get the Tristani back. Guild Mage is good. There's an argument that I could have attacked with both of those. It's something to do with my mana on the following turn, assuming that they do nothing of relevance this turn. And that I don't draw the Mortal Sun, obviously. Well, goodbye, Immortal Sun. I guess it actually depends on what's in their hand. If they have a D-Spark or a Dovin's Veto, we certainly get to keep the Immortal Sun. Slam this for three. Just wanting to keep the pressure rolling. Getting one card's good enough for me. Uh, I'm going to hold this in my hand to bluff that I don't have the mana for the Immortal Sun. Though that might just be a silly gambit. Probably just a silly gambit, in all honesty. Kind of have to kill this. Can't really let me untap with it. Probably block here. But those are better in my graveyard than in play. Okay. Another hostage shaker is pretty horrible for me. They can double block now. Oh, that's certainly on my library. I attack, they just double block, so it's better that I wait and attack on the following turn. <clears throat> That's a fairy is ultra good here. Just ultra good here in this spot. Let's see what they do. Play Ulfakai and kill one of our friends. Um, guess I'm supposed to get these two back. I'm going to go ahead and play one of them. Mortal Sun's beautiful. Again, I'm not going to attack here. Right, can we get out of this turn alive? Hopefully they just play something not relevant. No discard spell, please. I don't know what I'm supposed to play. I'm going to start with an attack, though. Don't care that they gain life here. Whatever. 
think this is the better card. Alright, well, I was trying to bait them into using some kind of mana, but they did not care. They just have another D-Spark. That's unfortunate. They drew both Hostage Takers and both D-Sparks. That's probably game. I doubt, I doubt we have an out now. Guessing we're way too far behind. I mean, we can draw one more Immortal Sun. We have one more in our deck. That's not it. So they have an instant. We're certainly running out of time to draw it. That's a good one, too. Now they get to gain three more life, deal five more damage, and kill our Krasis. So our life total gets to the point now to where if we draw Mortal Sun this turn, it may not even be good enough. Right, we draw a land that's certainly not good enough, so we just concede and go on to the next game. Hey, Dahoon, thanks for the follow. Uh, I very much appreciate it. I probably pronounced your name wrong because I am not an intelligent man. Yeah, I like, uh, I like your stream. It's pretty chill. Uh, don't know what else I want. Could argue duresses are good enough, I guess. I don't really like prison realms here, but because of the, the fairies, the way they interact with them, but they're probably still just good enough. The games typically go really long. Yeah, maybe I just don't want to rest. I don't know, Tristani's really bad in this match. Well, Tristani's not that bad, actually. I forgot they're um, playing the... Hostage taker flex slot. Okay, I give it up. Probably getting crushed. This could be the last game of the night. Uh, yeah, I do not like standard right now, but I still kind of like keeping myself mythic. Um, makes it a little easier to try to get into the thousand person thing. Because, like, next month I'd start at plat 4 instead of gold 4. That's the only reason I'm playing it at the moment. We've qualified for the one that starts, or the one that's going on for this two months, but... Uh, well, we don't have the white mana, so that sucks. Because Hero Precinct 1's exceedingly good versus me. Don't need you... Yeah, I much more prefer Modern at the moment. I've been streaming a lot of it, just... I needed to do the Gideon Sacrifice today and get some of the dailies out of the way. More than happy to trade the Jade Light Ranger here if they want to. The Modern Horizons changed a lot. I was... I underrated that set initially. What if it's better just to get rid of this? That's probably not. Probably putting two creatures on the board is just better.
I don't think they will ban it. I think they're going to let it go through the July ban phase and hope that the London Mulligan rules that are coming back in July fixes it. So I think the Pro Tour is going to be basically all Bridgevine and all Neoform. And then, like, all Force of Negation decks trying to beat them. I hope I'm wrong, but that's what I'm expecting. So, like, everybody will always have their hate pieces. I guess that's a relevant thing. Let's start with this onto this, because if they have instant speed removal, they'll use it to get the trigger now. That gives me a better idea of... Uh, it gives me a better idea of how many things I have to attack Little to Fairy 3 with. So maybe just two? Do they run Settle anymore? Am I getting ready to get Settled? Feels like opponent's getting ready to Settle me. It's a hard sell for me that they have this many cards and didn't have a spell to play, but... Oh, Instant Speed Kyle's Wrath, it's the same thing. So it was still right not to even consider playing around the settle. Oh no, they took our friend back. But that was our friend. A little Teferi is so good. Yeah, we are we are dead this game. We just have to spend like three more minutes of being in misery before it's over. But they didn't take this card, so I'm assuming that means they have something good. At this point, I'm not sure I can actually even beat the uh, hero, though. suppose if their hand's bad enough, the 4-4 only has to take three turns to win. But if they were concerned about the Prison Realm at all, they would have taken the Prison Realm, so... I don't think they're concerned about it at all. Uh, I can't see... Neither of those cards are particularly useful here. This thing doesn't really get better, so I guess if it trades for two tokens, that's fine. I don't have another sweeper in my deck, so... Goodbye, our hostage taker friend. You'll be missed. Pretty close to picking the cards up. Uh, that doesn't do anything. I always trick myself into continuing to play because I'm like, man, if I can draw several crises in a row, we got this. But, no. <laughs> no, there, there's just no actual outs. Any cool MTG streams that I can host when I log off here? Shelby Rain's playing. I'm just not going to block. I am definitely, definitely dead. Alright. We got crushed, and I'm actually going to call it fairly early today. Because I'm addicted to Path of Exile and I need to go mapping. So, take care everybody and thanks so much for coming by and go watch this person play Eldrazi Tron. I'll be back tomorrow as usual. Stream 714 days in a row, no reason to quit now. And I'm most likely going to be playing either Bridgevine or if something interesting top 8 at the Modern Challenge this week, I might play it after the necklace are posted. 
So take care, everybody, and thanks so much for stopping by, and thanks, uh, thanks for the follow again. Take care, everyone.